I had just discovered a job called A&R, Artists and Repertoire. They're the person at a record label that's, uh, they're, they're the ones that find the new talent, sign it, and develop it. And when I found that job existed, I couldn't even believe it. People got paid to do that? I was like, whatever it takes, that's what I want to do with my life. I'd already gotten the ear from being raised on that amazing music my dad played, and I was going to right the wrong of him passing on his calling. So, in 2006, I pack my bags, and I head for Los Angeles, California, from Detroit, Michigan, with nothing in place but faith and a dream. True, true faith is not waiting to grow wings and then jumping. True faith is jumping first and trusting you're going to grow wings on the way down. And that's what I did. <laughs> so, so I'm on my way on the freeway. And I had spent like a year prior, you know, trying to get through to this record label I really want to work at, Interscope Records. And I got nowhere doing that. I mean, I remember even being hung up on once, you know, being laughed at, saying, you got to know somebody in the building to get through here. So uh, I remember crossing the freeway from basically when I was crossing Arizona into California, I got a hold of a temp who was filling in for somebody out sick in the A&R department. And she said, if you get me your resume by the end of the day, I know of a position opening down the hall. So I pull my car over immediately, find the nearest Kinko's, fax my resume through. This was 2006, so Kinko's. <laughs> so, I, so I fax it through. And a few interviews later, I was in. I remember my first day at Interscope Records. I was in the lobby. It was beautiful. Sprawling, artwork everywhere. And I was watching famous artists and executives come and go. I mean, this was a label that had artists like, you know, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Lady Gaga, U2, no doubt, biggest artists in the business, and I was just in awe. This felt like hitting a full court shot, getting all net from the audience stands. <laughs> I mean, really, it was, it was surreal. 